Want to go to Mars? Well, check this out before you leave. How space kills people with zero gravity. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to work in zero gravity? Well, maybe only after you've just watched some space movie. But for those who live on the International Space Station, floating in the air isn't just a special effect in a sci-fi flick, it's their everyday life. Sure, it's cool to catch some floating M&Ms in your mouth, but it's not all fun and games living in a zero-gravity state. It's actually extremely harmful for the human body. Let's see how the body changes when it's without gravity for some time. Number 1. Your immune system becomes much weaker Scientists conducted a study on 23 astronauts living and working aboard the International Space Station anywhere from 2 to 6 months. There were 18 men and 5 women, all with an average age of 53 years. The researchers had tested every participant's blood 180 and 45 days before their flight. After the astronauts got to the ISS, they took samples of their own blood three more times, two weeks after arrival, two months after arrival, and at the end of their mission. These blood samples were thoroughly analyzed in special laboratories on Earth. Scientists found that the immune systems of those who had been in zero gravity for about half a year actually became weaker. Not only that, but even after the astronauts returned to Earth, it took their immune systems a pretty long time to get back to normal function. 2. Your skin becomes 15% thinner <laughs> If you already have a thin skin, you might want to think twice before heading to the ISS. Astronauts complained that their skin had become dry and itchy. So scientists decided to study this strange phenomenon even further by sending six mice to the station for three months. That means these little rodents became the second living beings to spend such a long time in zero gravity, after we humans, of course. Anyway, after the mice were safely delivered back to Earth, researchers got some interesting findings. First of all, the animal's skin had become 15% thinner. What's more, their fur had even started growing differently. Being in space had actually affected the genes responsible for the work of hair follicles. Number 3. Your eyesight can deteriorate significantly. Now, that sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? The same six mice in the skin study helped scientists figure out another problem – the effect space has on the eyes. Astronauts who spend even a short time in zero gravity notice that their eyesight worsens and they can't see objects up close. Their vision goes back to normal after they return to Earth. But if people remain in a weightless state for longer periods of time, their eyesight doesn't recover on its own, and they require medical attention. When scientists examine these rodent rocketeers, they learn that problems with vision appear because of microgravity. When you're on Earth, your blood naturally gets pulled down towards your feet. But in zero gravity, your blood doesn't move down under the influence of gravitation. So, too much blood goes to your brain. This causes problems for the blood vessels, especially the ones in your eyes. Number 4. You actually become at least 2 inches taller. Hey, hey, good news for those who always dreamed of becoming a model. Here's another significant change that happens to a person who spends some time in zero gravity. Whether you want it or not, your height will increase because the spine will stretch and become more than 2 inches longer. Man, what a waste of money buying those new pants before the flight. Hey, hit the like button if you would like to fly out to the ISS at least to become taller. Number 5. You get really disoriented at first. New astronauts who experience weightlessness for the first time describe feeling as if they've been hanging from a roof and then let go. This strange sensation usually lasts for about 24 hours, and then they get used to it. It happens because your brain gets disoriented and confuses up and down. And within your first days in zero gravity, 
you'll also experience a strange phenomenon when your head tilts down between 12 and 20 degrees. This causes disorientation as well. Astronauts also reported feeling panicked at night when they woke up and couldn't feel their arms and legs. They say it feels like your limbs don't even exist. Yep, that's all thanks to zero gravity. Number 6. You might get bird leg syndrome. In a zero gravity environment, all the liquid in your body moves from the lower to the upper part of your body. As a result, you'll most likely end up having thin bird legs and a puffy face. This also, strangely enough, eliminates thirst and weakens your sense of taste. Another unpleasant situation can be a stuffy nose, kind of like when you have allergies or a head cold. Number 7. You might get space sick. Hmm. Some get car sick, others get seasick. Well, astronauts actually experience space sickness. As mentioned before, when you first get to the ISS, your brain gets really confused and can't tell the ceiling from the floor. That's why the ISS has arrows drawn on the walls that all point in the same direction. Well, this disorientation also messes up your sense of balance, which can leave you feeling sick and queasy. Number 8. Your bones lose their density. This is an incredibly dangerous issue connected with a long stay in zero gravity. With each month in space, your bones lose about 1% and sometimes even more of their density and important minerals. So, 6 months in zero gravity means a 6% loss in bone mass. That's why the threat of breaking a bone after a simple fall becomes increasingly real with every passing month. Number 9. Your heart might get lazy. First of all, if you remain in zero gravity for some time, the volume of your blood decreases. On top of that, the heart doesn't have to work as hard pumping blood through the body since it's just floating in the air. That's why when astronauts come back to Earth, they're overall much weaker and have trouble doing physical work. Also, their heart has gotten sort of lazy and forgotten how to pump blood through a body that's been influenced by gravity. And a weak heart is never good news. Number 10. You won't feel so stable on your feet back on Earth. When astronauts return home from a mission, they typically suffer some unpleasant sensations. For example, their coordination can let them down while they're walking. Some of them say that they feel like if they bent over, they'd fall flat on their face. What's more, anything that was light as a feather in space feels a whole lot heavier on Earth, so it becomes really hard to even carry your own weight. All of these issues are pretty troubling as far as the future of space exploration goes, especially if we're talking about sending a manned expedition to Mars. That's why nowadays, many scientists all over the world are hard at work finding ways to allow humans to not only survive, but to thrive in space. Astronauts hope that sooner or later, their human bodies will be up for the challenge of exploring the red planet. So, what about you? Would you risk your health to see our planet from space? Tell us in the comments below. If you learned something new in this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. We have so many more cool, useful, and entertaining videos on the Bright Side of Life.